Good morning, Namaste Om. I'd like to share with you a short story that came to me. This man had an enlightening experience. It was so revelational that he was abandoned life and lived a life up in the hills. He became this recluse, always smiling, always dancing, always doing everything that an enlightened sage would do. But one day he decided, you know what? Something came, mind came back in and says, I have to get a job. He gets this job on a reception desk at the university. And he's been there now for three, four years. Everyone knows that he's a bit off the cuff, but they, everyone has problems, they go and speak to him. And he sorts out the problems. He's a great person. Deep inside, he's a saint, a guru, a sage. But he wants to be one with the world and fit into the world. So he gets this job and everyone loves him. He's been there for three years. This student who has been attending a course on human dissolution at the university where John works is about to attend his last final class on how the students are going to come up with some sort of, of solution if this human dissolution was to take place. All very supposition but a course of reality and this student who knew the university well decided to go early because it was so important everyone would fail the course if this was not attended this meeting was so important of these group of students to to come together and be graduates and finish the course finish the meeting off so he arrives at the, and says to the saint and guru, whose name was John, John, I have this cross. I have this meeting. I have this meeting. It's my final meeting. I came early. Can you direct me? I have on the piece of paper. It's supposed to be G17. I can't re recollect. I just want to confirm that which direction I go. Oh, no, 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 son. No, no, no. I know this course. I know this meeting. This meeting is here. No, no. You won't understand. It's in G17. No, your meeting is here. It's always been here. I don't need this now, John. I know what you can do. I know your capabilities. I know all that, but I can come and do that another day. I need to find this meeting. I'm telling you, your meeting is here. No. So student, he runs off and, and I know where G17 is. He runs up, takes a lift up the corridor around. 10 minutes has passed. He knocks on the door, G17 opens it. No one now. A note on the door. Meeting has been changed. See receptionist. I'm not going back there. He asks everyone, where is this human dissolution meeting? Ah, yes, it's been changed to A block down by, down at reception area. A block is where reception is. Ah, he runs down the left, down the, everyone asks, where is this meeting? Where is this meeting? Human dissolution. Ah, oh, it's, I think it's A12. Some student says, no, no, I think it's A16. I think it's A1. They won, I don't know that. He tries every door. He asks the professors, where is this human dissolution meeting? It's important, I can't find it. I'm going to be late now. Ah, oh, yes, it was changed, you know. It was, it was changed. I think it's a block. He tries every door. Oh no, hum no, philosophy, theos theology, everything, everything except this meeting. I can't find it. Where is it? He gets so desperate, he starts running, knocking on doors, asking people, where is this meeting? It's so important. Everyone puts him in the wrong direction. Everyone seems to be against the student. Every, the whole world seems to be crumbling. The only thing I need to complete my degree and become this philosopher 
that I've always dreamt of. And I can't even find the room where the meeting is taking place. I must be so stupid. He falls to his knees. A student comes and says, what's wrong? What's wrong? I can't find the meeting. Look, go to the reception desk. The reception, the man in reception, he will tell you where the meeting is. No, no, he's not with me today. He's not with it. He's away on his spiritual journeys again. The day I don't need him is the day he turns up. Go ask him again. Demand. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I've had enough. I give up. I'm late now. I've, the meeting has started. It's too late. Everything I do in this world is wrong. Everything I do is against me. Everything I try is, is a failure. I'm always here as a failure. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time for me to surrender and go away and become some sort of homeless person or something. I don't know. This is so, so bad. I am trying to sort out human dissolution and I can't find a room where a meeting is taking place. I'm going to leave this university. No, don't give up. Go to the reception desk. Ask the man. Right now. He walks away. I'm not going back there to see that lunatic. He's walking towards the front door to leave the university. And he said, you know what? Maybe it's time. Maybe this saint and sage is actually correct. It's maybe it's time to face up to this thing that has been hovering over me. Maybe my meeting is with this sage. I'm going to forget this philosophy, forget this human dissolution, and I'm going to surrender and give up and attend the meeting with the sage. And he walks to the reception desk and he falls at his knees and at the glass and opens the door. And a lady answers, what is it, son? I want to speak to John. Ah, oh, John has gone for his tea break. <laughs> I can't even do this. He will be back in half an hour. It's too late. I've missed my meeting. I'm going. What is this meeting that you have missed? Huh. I had a meeting with human dissolution and John kept saying the meeting is here. And she says, but your meeting is here. <sighs> Are you the guru's wife? No, I'm a receptionist. Your meeting is here. It's always been here. It was never G17. It was never. It was always an A block. It is always here. And a door behind in the back of the reception with a sign on it says, Human Dissolution Meeting. But it's not your time. It's not your time. It was not a student's time, even though it appeared to be. The meeting was always in the reception area. The sage was doing his job as a person. The student entered the reception. Knocked on the door. The meeting was about to commence. It had been put back half an hour because the people, the professor in the class knew this student was looking 
and couldn't find it. So he waited. He passed the course. He became a great philosopher. He apologized to, this, to the sage, the receptionist. He said, no apology. One day you will come. One day you won't even have to arrange it. You will come before the presence of God for the real meeting here. Yeah. I must stay home.